Got uh, Justin Rowe on the line from Stadium and Maine podcast. He brought up Joe Milton. Let me hit you on Joe Milton. I took in the uh, Tennessee spring game over the weekend. They've got three pretty, at this point, non-distinguished quarterbacks, and it just seems like Joe Milton's going to join uh, a four-man battle now uh, of non-distinguished quarterbacks. Nobody's really achieved much. Hendon Hooker had a decent season and a half at Virginia Tech, but what are Tennessee fans getting with Joe Milton based on your perspective? Yeah, you know, I, Joe Milton is a guy who, on paper, he looks like he should be, you know, one of the best quarterbacks in the country, right? When you're six foot five and 240 pounds and you've got a cannon of an arm and can run, you know, it's like, all right, is that Cam Newton? <laughs> you know, it, it lo he looks like he plays that part. Um, you know, and I think that there's still a chance that, that uh, Joe Milton can put it together. Uh, but what we've seen so far is that, you know, he just hasn't been able to put it together. He's got all the tangibles. He's got, you know, the talent. But when he steps onto the field, his decision making is not great. You know, he can't have he, do, he hasn't shown the touch on the deep ball that we all thought that we uh, we would get out of him in 2020. Um, you know, I think there were definitely some spots where you saw what what Michigan coaches saw in practice, um, but we never really saw that in the games. You know, outside of the, that first game against Minnesota this past year where he played pretty well, um, you know, I didn't see much. But, you know, there are rumors that he had, you know, some – a broken thumb or something like that too, um, which, uh, you know, nothing has con been confirmed, but he was seen in a cast uh, pretty much right after the season ended too. Um, and so, you know, maybe there's some things where he could, you know, maybe it's a, a change of scenery really helps Joe Milton. Um, you know, he's a Florida boy, so maybe he's heading more down South to be, you know, more comfortable at home. Um, but he's a guy that maybe he comes in and Tennessee says, we don't care about the mistakes that he makes. He's too talented to not, you know, let him get a shot. Um, because I think that that was the same thing that a lot of Michigan fans and the Michigan coaches said. It's like the upside of Joe Milton is insane, right? If the ceiling is unbelievable, but the 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 bottom is also pretty low. Um, so it's high risk, high reward type thing where you know you look at some of the other quarterbacks, Cade McNamara not as high risk, not as high reward. So um, if he does put it together, oh my gosh. I mean, Tennessee fans would be, you know, elated to have him. But I could also see him being the third string quarterback. So, uh, and if I had to lean one way, I'd have to say the, the latter there. I didn't necessarily want to make a big deal out of it at the time, but uh, in looking at Joe Milton's statistics in high school and seeing 47% completion percentage, that was the first time I could remember seeing that kind of number out of a four-star quarterback and thinking, wow, they, they're really seeing the, the, again, the tremendous talent that may not uh, be really inconsistent on the field, or they're dropping more passes than any high school team in the nation or something's going on here. Yeah, I think you know, it, I I completely agree with you. Um, but I it's I I maybe people overlooked it and saw the body. You know, they saw like you know this is we don't care what his stats are right now. We can work with that, right? But still, usually those types of guys are the three stars, the two or three stars. They they you have to kind of have the body and put it together in order to to jump up to that four or fifth star. Uh, and so that's where I was, I agree with you, you know, but even like you go back and look at, uh, you look at, uh, Denard Robinson, who obviously wasn't a great passer, but in high school and in, you know, in high school, he basically just ran the ball all the time, but even he had a 50% completion percentage, you know? And so, um, you know, you look at that and, and I think now looking back on it to your point, people are probably like, that should have been more of a red flag than it was. Um, so, you know, maybe they thought that he could, uh, you know, progress and they could work with that, but it doesn't seem like he's been able to, with that strong arm, really, you know, tone it down and make sure that those throws are accurate enough. Please like the video, share the videos out on social media. There are folks that follow you on Twitter and Facebook that have no idea that we're here talking college football every day. And uh, please subscribe as well and follow Justin there at uh, Justin Row 92 Justin, we appreciate you stopping by. Enjoy the uh, NFL draft this weekend and hopefully some um, 
in uh, continued good weather. Absolutely, yeah. It's all, it's only getting betty, better from here, right? For until until football is here, which is fantastic. Can't wait for that.